Welcome to the next video on software engineering. In this video, we are going to talk about design process and design quality covered under module 5 of the software engineering. We are going to see about the software design, then what are the guidelines for good design and what are the quality attributes. Okay, so let us start. Software design. It is an iterative process. We repeat through which requirements are translated into a blueprint for constructing the software. As we know, requirement engineering process provides us one requirement specification document that is SRS. So, software design translate that requirement into a blueprint. Okay. So initially, the blueprint represents holistic view of the software. That is, design is represented at the higher level of abstraction. Meaning what? It is directly traced to the system objectives. Okay. And as the design iteration occurs, we refine it subsequently and it leads to the design representation at the lower level of abstraction meaning how to implement how to construct the software so entire process is an iterative one okay and gradually we refine the design to obtain the representation at the lowest level okay so let us start some characteristics serving the guide for the evaluation of a good design what are these the design must implement all of the explicit requirements as well as all the implicit requirements must also be accommodated desired by all the stakeholders for a software development okay it must be readable understandable for what for guiding those who generate code that is the coder the system developer and the system tester and the maintenance team so subsequently support the software so it must be readable and understandable guide for all it should provide a complete picture of the software addressing the data functional and behavioral domains from an implementation perspective so it should provide all the detailed picture for addressing these issues the architecture such uh, is required such that that has been created using recognizable architecture style or patterns it is composed of components that exhibit good design characteristics and can be implemented in an evolutionary fashion that is one after another evolution may be done thereby facilitating implementation and testing okay should be modular means if we are having one system it should be further divided into some modules dealing with some specific functions of the overall system okay so the software should be logically partitioned into elements or subsystems a design should contain distinct representation of data architecture interfaces and components it should lead to data structures that are appropriate for the classes to be implemented and are drawn from recognizable data patterns so one of the important aspect is what what kind of data structures we are going to use for a particular software implementation okay design should lead to components that exhibit independent functional characteristics so if we are mo uh, talking about modularity functional independence is also going to play an important role a design should lead to interfaces that reduce the complexity of connections between components and with external environment we should try to reduce the 
connections between components. A design should be derived using a repeatable method that is driven by information obtained during software requirement analysis. So ultimately reusability concept is going to be implemented. A design should be represented using a notation that effectively communicates its meaning. Okay, now coming on to the attributes. Hamlet Packard developed the set of quality attributes that been, uh, it has been given acronym as FORBS that is functionality, usability, reliability, performance and supportability. So let us go through one by one. What exactly functionality means? It is assessed by evaluating the feature set and the capabilities of the program. The generality of the functions that are delivered and the security of the overall system. So how exactly the design is going to support the functionality of the system. Usability. It is assessed by considering human factors, overall aesthetics, consistency and documentation. All these aspects should be covered. Next, reliability. It is evaluated by measuring the frequency and severity of failure, the accuracy of output results, the mean time to failure, the ability to recover from failure and the predictability of the program. So reliability of the software is evaluated by measuring these things. Performance. How is the processing speed? What is the response time? resource consumption, how much memory and all other resources of the computer system are consumed, throughput and efficiency. Next is supportability. It combines the ability to extend the program that is called extensibility, adaptability, how if different situations are being created, whether it is adaptable or not, serviceability, these three attributes represent a more common term that is called maintainability and in addition testability, compatibility, configurability that is the ability to organize and control elements of the software configuration. Different configuration can be controlled. The ease with which a system can be installed and the ease with which the problems can be localized. So we are talking about this support service mainly that after development and testing how you are going to support the system so we can summarize forms that is functionality usability reliability performance and supportability so these are the quality attributes that is representing a target for all software design okay references thank you for watching